Oh god, I forgot about this thing. No stopping now. You know what? I'm going to take a shot at it. Who knows, maybe I can kill it. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Yeah, she's fucking dead. Ah, uh, god damn it. That's entirely my fault, though. Crit 31. God damn. Yeah, I will. It is done. I tire of waiting. Oh, sorry. Was lost in thought. This spells purpose. Who will prevail? Does it matter? <laughs> All right, maybe I can do this. And then Bane. Could be worse. And will be. Yes, definitely will be. Please. Hiram, are you being attacked now? Come on, please. Damn it! Damn it! Did she just say serves you right to me? Do it. Thought you were supposed to be on my side. Yeah, most of these attacks are just missing. Yeah, this is this is hopeless. There's no way I'm I'm gonna be able to kill this thing. Yeah, that tip would have been helpful about three hours ago. Greetings. Keston Gares, the former captor of Jamandi Aldori's personal gods, nods to you as though you'd seen each other in Rostov only yesterday. He limps noticeably, and his clothes are stained with blood, and looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met. But this time, you also sense a hint of excitement in his eyes. Urgent news from Restov. The investigation that I have conducted at Lady Jamande's orders have proved your innocence. Tartuccio was and still is the Pataxian spy. That dreadful night, it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Yerovetti is no stranger to intrigue and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Anyway, Lady Jamande sends her apologies. Cool. We almost had Tartuccio cornered when this damned mist fell. First, we entirely lost our way and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. My people can barely stand, so I would be grateful if you would help us capture this Tartuccio. He must be somewhere nearby. Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. The Sword Lords will remember this favor. Hmm. That's interesting. How did Tartuccio manage to fool you? Caused us no little trouble, that's for sure. When he showed up in Restoff and announced he was going to join the expedition, nobody suspected a thing. Yes, a gnome, yes, a sorcerer, but so what? Even after that terrible night, some of my people were willing to bet money on you being the spy. Why would, why would I be the spy, though? I'm just a dwarf. His overconfidence was his downfall. Tartuccio's henchmen, it seems, imagined they could safely meet with Pataxian spies in the town's seedy underbelly. But Restoff is the ancestral home of the Eldori, and Lady Jamandi is respected not only by the aristocracy and the common folk, but also by those on the other side of the law. That's interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. We received a message from the slums. A good friend, who wished to remain anonymous, suggested the Sword Lords take a closer look at a certain guest from Patax. Jamande immediately sent for me and ordered me to capture the spy, all very quietly, of course. He told us everything, and not only about Tartuccio, 
I doubt that Irovetti was pleased to hear of his agent's failure. Hmm. What can Pataxian spies hope to find in the Stolen Lands? Pataxian spies are much like magpies. They'll grab anything that catches their eye. Information, treasure, artifacts. This time, King Irovetti had a chance to seize the entire Stolen Lands region. And at the Aldori's expense. I'll give you some advice for the future. Be wary of the Pataxian king. He's truly a snake of a man. Interesting. Garrus is the name of a noble house in Brevoy, is it not? You're a noble then? Used to be. It's only a name now, nothing more. The House Garess are a noble family in Brevoy. They own several mines in the Galushkin Mountains. My father Evan is cousin to Lord Howland Garess. But he's my father no longer. Interesting. In any case, I brought shame upon my name and was punished accordingly. The family disowned me. I fled to Restov and took up the life of a simple mercenary until I received an assignment here in the Stolen Lands. Huh. Sure. Fair enough. For a Garess, the prosperity of the house and the honor of the name stands above all else. And I... I was betrothed to a widow from another noble house. This union was of great importance to the family. However, three months before the wedding, I met a commoner girl, gentle and pure, and we fell in love. I would have rather died than leave my Tanya. So I decided to break off the engagement with my noble bride. I could never have expected what would follow. My father was furious. I'd set a pointless love affair above the interests of the house. Huh. He expelled me from the family and ordered to leave our lands under threat of death. And Tanya... Her mother was seriously ill, and she stayed behind to care for her rather than follow me into exile. Thus, I was on my own, disgraced, without a name, and without love. Don't imagine that I ask for pity. Everyone gets what they deserve. What's done is done. Huh. Yeah. Well. Meh. I would know more of your of House Garess and your well, homeland. House Garess owns a number of valleys and gorges in the Kalushkin Mountains. The landscape makes these places easily defensible, and they're rich in ores and everything else the depths of the earth have to offer. It is a place of rare beauty. <sighs> When I moved to Restoff, I couldn't get used to it for a long time. There was nothing but sky between the roofs. No mountain peaks anywhere in sight. Really? Tell me of your house. An old and renowned family, one of the most influential in Brevoy. A long time ago, the Garess house entered a pact with the dwarven clan of Golka. This proved to be of great benefit to both parties, and they've supplied the ore for our forges ever since. Lord Howland even took the son of the dwarven leader as his board. Who would have known where this would lead? Hmm. Interesting. The same winter that Brevar lost the Regarvia dynasty, Howland's only natural son, Bren, went missing in the mountains. Thus, Tovald Golka, the Lord's dwarven ward, became heir to House... <laughs>